Hello, Michelle Ray here. Today we're going to talk about the business plan three. This is the area of your business plan where you talk about your financials. Money, as we all know, is energy and abundance is a, an expression of energy that we want in our business. We want to freely and abundantly offer our expertise, our presence, right? our gifts and talents and passions in the world in exchange for some energy that often is money. Sometimes it's a barter or a trade. But to, in order for people to find us, to shift and transform the world through us, through our essence expressing in the world, there needs to be an avenue for exchange. So during this section, we're going to put that on paper, create a spreadsheet, create some language around our abundance, and the likelihood that you and your business are going to succeed. So again, whether you are making a proposal to a department that you work in, whether you are adding this to your current practice, or whether you are launching out into a health coaching entrepreneurial role, fully evaluating and anticipating and planning your financial success is a piece of this puzzle. So we'll take a look again here at the business plan and go through BP3, what it is that you will need to succeed on this assignment for this class. So the financial section, back here, let me see, I want to share this screen with you. There we go. So the financial section of this assignment has to do with statements about your income potential, your fees, your current financial status, and your financial forecast. So you want to... Go back and take a look at the other section of your BP, BP1, where you've already had a bit of a flush out of your fees and your services. And in this section, you want to begin with a paragraph. Where do you stand in the current state of the art? So I would recommend starting with health coaching in general. Where are we in this marketplace, in this country? a bit of a summary maybe of some of your SWAT points in this business, why it's likely to succeed. <clears throat> you want to talk about your place in that and maybe pull a bit from your philosophy or what makes you unique and marketable and differentiates you from the rest of the marketplace. Determine your income goal. How much do you want to make? This business plan, we're going to arbitrarily put in a one-year pro forma. What are your startup costs going to be? And then a month-to-month -month income and expense to have in this first month, a first year, a break-even month, which means a month where you make more money than you spend. So from there, including your services and fees, maybe an introductory offer, we have a, a want to outline that again in this first paragraph. If there's any equipment or supplies or inventory needed in the next 12 months, again, you can verbalize in the paragraph form the uh, summary that you're doing on your spreadsheet regarding your startup costs. You want to list your funding sources. Maybe you're taking a loan from a bank. Maybe you're financing it with no intention to pay it back. Maybe you're financing it with an intention to pay it back. However you run that works very well. But the idea, again, is the, the thoughtfulness, the planning that you have in starting up your business. So the narrative, you want to be sure to explain everything that uh, we just reviewed in that paragraph. You also want to add in that narrative how you intend to keep track of the ongoing financials, whether it's going to be a paper system, whether you're going to employ QuickBooks or Quicken. And then the 
beyond the paragraph, there's a spreadsheet that you want to complete. So you want to project your startup budget. The spreadsheet has two tabs, one for a startup, and there are some categories in there that are arbitrary. You feel free to change the categories to make it your own. There is some math embedded in the spreadsheet, so try not to take out the functionality of adding up columns. Will give you uh, help you out and then you want to flip over after you do your initial budget of a startup to the month-to-month -month budget again the top having the um, various expenses please erase and make them your own add new ones and then you want to put your anticipated revenue month to month and again you can make that in several lines if you are going to have revenue by selling products or you're going to have some revenue by offering group classes or you're going to have some revenue by individuals paying you so uh, that is the summary of this section. And in addition, just to remind you from the grading rubric, here are the areas that you will actually be graded on. You're going to get uh, six, month, six points for your narrative. Be sure to include all the pieces that we have talked about, and uh, including a break even. And you want to then develop this pro forma, both the 12 month and the startup, and identifying a break even point, which will be two points for uh, the startup, four points for the ongoing. And then, as you remember, this section you also want to, and we'll get six points for your executive summary. So we'll go back and take a look here on our draft, what that executive summary includes. The executive summary might be something you can think of that you are going to share as a summary, maybe with a bank that you want to finance you, maybe with uh, family and friends that you want to tell about your business. So this is a recap, essentially. Kind of think of it like an abstract for an article that you might be writing that talks about your business plan, but just in an abbreviated form. So. You want to take a look back through now your entire business plan and you want to come up with a highlight, nothing new, of each section. So you want to take a look at your owner section, the vision and mission, purpose, priorities, goals, your marketing plan, and your financial plan. And you want this summary to convey success. This summary says, I am likely to succeed because. So take little excerpts from each section and write this section at the very end. So the essence of this is that doing this, you should provide the information you need to express confidence that you are hopefully feeling at this point in the class about your business, about yourself, and about your capacity to execute a business plan. And here's an example. There's also several examples in this Moodle uh, section on financials. So take a look at that as well as um, the initial business plan that we've given you, all from various students to give, give you a hand on that. So hopefully this review will give you the, your checklist to be able to assure yourself that you have everything you need and more to do well on this section of your business plan three, which we look forward to reviewing very soon.